What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. The other day I was walking by my truck and I walked by the front tire. I was like, holy cow, is this thing wearing all types of weird? As you can see, the inside tread is like almost like 100% immaculate, like perfect tread. And the outside here, as you can see, is like totally done. It's all like worn weird and everything like this. And I was trying to think, I was thinking for like a, like a couple minutes, like why is it wearing like this? And I thought to myself, no, I got, when I first got the truck, I cranked the torsion keys all the way up so I can clear my 24 by 14 specialty forge wheels that I put on the truck way back when, which I still have. So um, I never really turned them back down because I refuse to cut my cab. As you can see, I cut my valence here a little bit, but I refuse to cut anything on the cab back here of this sorts um, because I can always just put the mud flat back on and sell it. Always just buy a new front valence. Once you cut the cab, there's no going back and it just looks really trashy to me in my opinion. But um, after I cranked the keys up, I forgot it throws the alignment out of whack by a ton. Now, some people say you need alignment. Some people say you don't. Um, obviously you do, because you can see like how messed up my tire is. Um, over here on the driver's side, it's not as bad, but it is wearing a little bit weird. As you can see, the inside's still really good. Um, the outside's still good, but it's not like perfect like the inside tread is. So um, we're gonna take the truck out today and try to get it aligned. Now I called quite a few places. Not a lot of people wanna touch these trucks uh, cause of the liability, because technically they don't have specs for 2020 trucks um which i really don't understand because in my opinion if your wheel is straight then your truck's gonna drive straight but um we're gonna drive to firestone tire uh, my local uh tire shop and see if they can do it um i called up they said they're not exactly sure if they can but they're gonna give it a try and uh, we'll see what happens if not i have a couple other places in mind so let's head out now we'll see if we uh can get the truck aligned and before we head out, I forgot to mention that I'm going to try at first to get it aligned with these wheels and tires on here. I'm not exactly sure if it'll fit on their machine or if they can fit like that uh, thing on there to actually align the tires. If it'll fit on these tires or not, um, I'll give it a try. It's really not that far from my house. Um, the guy on the phone said that he can do it, but obviously he's not dealing with a normal car with different wheels and tires. It's just a truck and they stick out a little bit further. But um, we'll see what happens when we get there, if they can do it on these or not. And if they can't, we'll come home and we'll throw my uh, stock wheels and tires back on here. I don't know if you guys can hear that humming or not, like how annoying it is. Hopefully this gets fixed up too after I get the alignment done. You can hear that. It just hums so loud. I know part of it's due to the mud tires, but at the same time, I hope that the alignment takes care of it somewhat. As you can see, that tire is like totally shot. So I'm curious to see on how much it's actually out of alignment um, because people talk about all the time that you should get one and like a total idiot, I didn't. So I just hope that uh, it's not that far out of whack. But I don't know, it just could, could be these tires. But we're gonna find out here pretty soon. And I didn't even realize this till now, but like how hard the truck pulls to the right. That makes sense because the left hand, or the driver's side right hand tire is kind of messed up. But I didn't even realize like how bad it pulled one direction until I started paying attention to it more. So we're gonna get this all straightened out and uh, we'll get the truck running back 100% again. Hopefully they come out with an update too for the edge inside CTS3. It looks really good in my window. Just be nice if I can actually plug it in and use it. We're here at the place now. I decided to go with Firestone Auto. Now, I originally wanted to go to Pep Boys because there's a lot of those places everywhere and I want to get a lifetime alignment because I do so much with my truck that I'm probably always gonna be messing with my torsion keys and everything like that. Always gonna be getting different wheels and tires. So for a couple hundred bucks, I can save the money and now I'm gonna get a lifetime alignment. So hopefully this place sticks around. But um, it's actually harder than what you think to find a place that can do an alignment on a 2020 truck. I must have called like five places and they all said they didn't have the specs for this truck, which is actually kind of insane. So I called here and they said they can do it. So hopefully when I get in there, um, they can actually do the truck. And uh, like they said, I think they said it was like 200 bucks for the lifetime alignment plus tax would be like 225. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Like it's a good thing to keep in mind, especially if you're someone like me and you're doing a lot of stuff with your truck, always mess messing with the keys. That's a good thing to have is a lifetime alignment. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of and uh, get this truck running 100% again. One thing that I cannot stand though is this stupid mask thing in PA still. Still gotta wear a mask, so I refuse to wear one. So I got a bandana. Let's go inside now and uh, see what they can do. Well, strikeout number one. They said they did not want to do it with the 12 wides on here. I said to the guy, you should have seen with the 14 wides on here. I didn't think these ones were too wide, but they said the truck was too nice to uh, mess up, which I do respect that they said they don't want to mess my truck up. So I'm probably going to come back uh, tomorrow with the stock wheels on here. So I'll go home, swap them out, come back, put the stocks on. And uh, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow and uh, see if they can make it happen tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so the next day here, we're back in the garage. Um, we just got to throw the stock tires back on here really quick. 
I'm just gonna swap them out really quick. I have my stock tires right over here. Now these things only have like a thousand miles on them. I put them on, I took them off actually when I uh, first got my truck. I literally drove it straight home, got my lug nuts here, factory floor mats. They literally only have like a thousand miles on them. So we're gonna get these bad boys mounted back up on the truck and uh, we'll go from there. We'll head back out and uh, get the truck aligned. But as you can see how shot this tire actually is, this tire is like brand new, like I'd say like 2,000 miles ago. There's like literally nothing left. You can see the inside tread, how much left on that, but like on the outside, it's like totally done so. Man, I can't believe that, but I gotta get a new setup soon. Um, let me know what you guys wanna see on a truck next. I already had polished. Um, this is more like work truck look. Not really a big fan of these. I wanted to see how the 35s were. Um, they're good for what they were. But I definitely want to go 14 wides again. So let me know down below what you guys want to see next on the truck. We have one wheel on. The lack of offset is actually kind of disappointing on how much a set of wheels and tires actually changes the look of a truck. Like that just looks disgusting. But I'm actually curious to see how it looks on stocks with the paint matched headlights. I have a feeling it'll look pretty good. So we'll get the rest thrown on here and uh, check it out, see what it looks like. Liddy has no stance now. It just looks like so narrow. But we're going to go ahead here now, go ahead and get this aligned. Um, it actually looks pretty bad. I did not think it was gonna look this bad to be honest, but um, we'll get this taken care of real soon. It's crazy how much nicer this thing even rides even being on the stock tires. Like, it's just crazy. Like, those 35s are complete trash. I really need a new setup, but. Sounds so good though. Well, we are striking out all over the place. They just loaded it up on their lift and it's rated for 8,000 pounds. And I think my truck's like 8,300 and it would not go up. They hit the button, they were holding it. It would not go up on the lift. So uh, I guess we gotta find somewhere else. I was really looking at like a lifetime alignment thing. I'm always gonna be messing with them, like my torsion keys, getting different wheels and tires, everything like that. So like I figured I'd get a lifetime alignment for like 200 bucks versus paying $120 every single time for alignment. But I guess that's what we're gonna have to do because nowhere else can actually fit it on or lift or have specs for this truck. It's crazy like they don't have specs. Like, I just think if your wheels are straight, that's straight. But I don't know, I'm not a tire guy. So um, yeah, we're gonna try another place now and see if they can align my truck, but we're striking out all over the place today. Well, we finally making some progress. We got it up on the lift, finally. A lift that can lift it. And we got everything on the tire, so hopefully this goes according to plan. Yeah, they're gonna try it. They don't have the specs, but hopefully everything works out. This is how far out my front wheels are, as you can see this on here. This is, okay. Put, it, put the numbers all at zero on both sides here. Okay. Uh, this is about three quarters of a degree, one de three quarters of one degree tilted in. Oh wow. Which isn't a lot, if you look at it, but it does in, make an in effect a, on the in, tire. In, when it comes to a tow and tire wear, that's... I feel like I said, I had like 4,000 miles and like the outside of the tire. It doesn't really take long gone. when the tow uh, deviates from its original position. Gotcha. It doesn't take long at all. And you can usually feel it. I mean, you can usually feel... Oh yeah, between, like with my other tires, between, I felt it. With yeah, these ones on a, here? A scraping roll and just a nice smooth roll. Gotcha. You can feel the difference. All right, so I just finished getting the truck aligned right now. As you can see, it ended up working out. They got on their lift and everything like that. I'm actually working after this. I have my trailer with me. The guys here are really cool. This is the Firestone in Edwardsville, Pennsylvania. If you guys are looking for a really good quality shop that the guys know what they're doing, uh, come here to the Firestone. But um, I ended up wanting to get the lifetime alignment. That's what the whole point of all this running around was for. So it ended up only being $192 for a lifetime. And I'm getting like leveling keys, upper control arms and everything at some point. So I'm gonna need like a million alignments. So I really didn't feel like paying for all this money over and over again. So I'm really glad it's all worked out. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.